Can you all see the screen? Hey, you both. You what both. did you see? The ancient Sumerian, Semitic Egyptian mystery school. Yes, that's it. Okay. Okay. Y'all should know who this is here. This is Crown Prince Hutan Tupac Bey, also known as formerly Prince Ramesses Abel Bey. And he made Ikra, which is the indigenous cosmic golden ray order of Melchizedek, the outreach arm for United Washington, the spiritual order for United Washington. Let's read some of his accomplishments. Because not only was he the crown prince for Empire Washington D. Duck the Munya. He was multi talented and spiritual crown prince who bestowed with vast inner gifts, which enabled him to explore numerous schools of thoughts, such as Christianity, Islam, Hebrewism, or what is known as Judaism, more science, more science temple of America as a member, as well as also as a secretary. Um, he was also part of the order of the Sufi Brotherhood. He also was part of the seven golden rays of Peru, a high member given authority by Lord um, Mesimo and Yogi Christopher Brooks to form his own order, which was Ikram, the indigenous cosmic golden ray order in Melchizedek. He also was the also a set part of the also a set society. He was Amar, which is the ancient mystic order of the Rosy Cross. I remember. He was also a Hare Krishna member. He was a member of the Eagle Wings Institute. He formed the Holy Temple of Menelik and etc. He had many other achievements, such as the Spiritual Council, Intuitive, Psychic, Tarot Card Reader, Rune Reader. He was a Shaman Healer, studied traditional Ushi Reiki healing system, Pranic healing, Psychic healing. He was a magician, a musician, drummer, singer, um, security for the late her Highness Empress Verdiasi Tierra watched to turn a guest on our bay. He was a business entrepreneur, a jewelry craftsman, a cosmetic art. He had a degree in mortuary science, bath salts, aroma salts, um, a martial arts instructor. He was a student of Grand Master Moses Powell, Musa Muhammad. He studied Nu Jitsu, Wing Chun, Qigong, Tai Chi, etc. He was an ordained minister of the African centric or Afrocentric temple, an ordained minister of the ancient Coptic Church, and principal, the Prince of United Washington D. Doug Demonia. More Nation, an establisher of the Ikra or Indigenous Cosmic Golden Ray Order Melchizedek. Like these are just some of his accomplishments. Now, for those who don't know who Melchizedek is, we'll go into the books. All 
All right. In the Herbach or Hakka teachings, which means the teaching of light. It is the ancient Egyptian mystery teachings of Heru Kohuti or Heru Tahuti. Tahudim Hermes or Hermes Trimagestus, as he's also referred to as, which combines the higher mysteries and the lower mysteries. Okay. Everybody mute their background, please. So here we combine the higher mysteries and the lower or lesser mysteries. You can get this information from the origin and evolution of Freemasonry connected with the origin and evolution of human of the human race. Harmaku. Harmaku or Hirumaku or Melchizedek. Harmaku. Maku is Michael. The word Maku is where we get the origin of the name in Hebrew, Michael. Or the English pronunciation of the name Michael, it comes from Maku. Hormaku crossed from one horizon to the other through the hollow body of the Sphinx. The Sphinx being imagined in a twofold type and with his tail to the west and his head to the east, pointing to the equator each way. The divine fatherhood was developed from Hormaku, who became the great god Ra in his primordial sovereignty. In this phase, we find the double Hermarchus, the sun god of the twofold horizon, who claims a divine origin or the virgin mother that was not begotten by God the Father. Horus of the double horizon was also templified as Horus of the two lions. On the Giza Plateau, there used to be two lions or two sphinx that sat there. The other was destroyed completely. The one that you see still exists. And then we also had in the Grand Canyon a sphinx. So that is the twofold type of the Sphinx, one in the West, one in the East, technically. It says the double horizon was also typified as Horus of the two lions. In the ritual, Horus rise again, saying, I am the twin lions in the air, or Ra. I am the double lion. All right. So according to your Bible, Melchizedek was Shem. Was Shem. And we'll go on to explain this a little bit. So who is Melchizedek? Biblical history, the office and his high and his order. The name Melchizedek contained in the Holy Bible in Genesis 4, 18, Psalms 110, and Hebrews 5, 6, 7. In the Holy Quran, his name is Al Qadir, which means the green one, a form of Osar, Osiris as the vegetation deity, or Heru in his Osarian or Osaru's awakened state. Melchizedek is likened to the head of the human race. 
And I do literally mean the head or the crown chakra, an angel, archangel, or an archangel of light, the Son of God in a form, human form, the Messiah, Christ, and finally the Holy Spirit. Melchizedek priesthood is greater than the priesthood descended from Abraham, the Aaronic or Leviticus priesthood, as the Melchizedek priesthood is spiritual, while the Aaronic Levitical priesthood is physical. In other words, one is genetic and one equals spiritual power, which is mental power. Okay. So in Psalms 110, God emphatically swears that the Messiah would be a priest after the order of Melchizedek. Because the Messiah, who is a Melchizedekian priest, has now come. Jesus' priesthood superseded the Aaronic or Levitical priesthood allegorical. According to the Metaphysical Bible Dictionary by Charles Fillmore. Aaron in Hebrew means illuminated, enlightener, mountaineer, very lofty. Allegory, the brother of Moses, the Israel tribe of Levi, and the first high priest of Israel, Exodus 6.20. Now metaphysical, the executive power of the divine law. Aaron, the first high priest of Israel and the bearer of intellectual light to the Israelites, signifies the ruling power of the intellectual consciousness. The making of the multi calf by Aaron, the golden calf, signifies the fourth state of thought, idols, that man builds in his own consciousness when he perceives the truth but does not care or it not, does not carry his spiritual ideals into execution, choosing instead to let his thought functions in a lower plane of consciousness. Now we go to a book of the beginnings by Gerald Massey. He states that Rahil, or Raha Maku, which is Rahul Kahuti, or Rahul Kahu, the Lord of the Eons, which means the Lord of the Ages, or also called the biblical Melchizedek, the Ancient of Days. Raha Kuhut, or Maku. Hamaku means son of the double horizon. Ra, or Asaru, is on. Amen, Atum, Pata. Heru. Means God of the sun, sun God, light, high, far away. Distant one or above. Peru symbolizes the higher self or the third eye, called the spiritual eye, or the first eye, um, signifying specifically the galaxy like cloud that hovers over top of the pineal gland in the third ventricle. Um, or the fluid-filled chamber of the third ventricle. It also is made up of the pineal gland, pituitary gland, hypothalamus gland, thalamus gland. The four jewels in the crown. Some say three jewels in the crown. Ma is short for mayat. Mayat ra or mutheh. We get the term mother from, meaning the true law. Mayat symbol is the skull of justice, balance, shu, the breath of life, which symbolizes the feather, as the heart is weighed against the feather, order, harmony, righteousness, truth, and peace. Ku means protected. A form of Tahuti, the husband of Mayat, the truth of the Lord. Tahuti is the sacred word. 
the moon guy, and since the moon has no light of his own, he uses the light of the sun, Heru, to shine down on us at night, shadow time. Tahuti Simple is the Ibis bird, or a form of Heru, the Benu bird, the phoenix. It means the glorious light body, or form of the spirit, the radiant shining. This transfiguration, or transfigured dead, which ascends to heaven and dwell among the gods and among the immortal pole stars, which never say. And you have Sut, which is called Bara, or Ba'ur, or Ba'el, or Bel, or Set, or Sutek, or Sut Nessi, the black or Saul. Osiris, the black Krishna, the black Buddha, the black Christ. Shu means black, or Sut means black, as in um, Sut is south, southern. Tech, the word talk is derived from tech. Tech means power, thirst, to drink too much, drunkenness. Tech is the Tamarian Egyptian word name for the Ibis bird. Our symbol within Ikram is an eight-pointed star. That is our symbol. Some refer to it as the star of Ishtar or Ashtara. The Babylonian god is known as the light bringer, which you might have heard that before. She's known as the queen of heaven. She's also a form of our sect. The eight-pointed star enclosed within the circle is the symbol for the sun god. As you see here, this eight-pointed star configuration was utilized in the Sumerian, Mesopotamian teachings, tales. Some say this is the symbol of Nibiru, or Nebiru, also the symbol of our sun. Okay, can someone else read? Anyone? I did it. Okay. Just here, why indigenous? The Inspirer, P R A B, Prince Ramses, Abel Bay, Melchizedek, 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 belonged to an indigenous nation. He was the crown prince of the Empire Washington de Desdemonia Moors. Under the auspices of Her Highness, the Empress Verdiasi, P R E, P R O, Seneca Turner, Washita, Washington. Augustin L. Bay, who bestowed him the title Crown Prince on June 7, 1999. The Crown Prince, Ramses Abel Bay, changed his name in 2003 to Crown Prince Bhutan Tupac Bay, and he inspired the formation of the United Washita to Doug the Moore Nation. However, he kept the name. P R A D Prince Ramses Abel Bay Melchizedek and the indigenous cosmic golden red order of Melchizedek. 
He was inspired after he was initiated into the seven golden rays of Peru to form Igra, I-C-G-R-O-M, the indigenous cosmic golden ray order of Melchizedek. Can you scroll up some, Doc? Mm-hmm. All right, so Ikram is the inner circle of United Washington Deduct the Money More Nation, which is the outer circle. Ikram's purpose is to allow men and women to have a personal experience of the divine without having to resort to a particular creed. This order, priesthood, is not act as an emissary or intermediary between man and God. The order priesthood was designed to help those that want to excel to their higher selves. <laughs> Two, archeological acknowledgements, historical research, religious studies, ecology, which is geophysics, archaeology, anthropology, and biochemistry, genetics, etc. In other words, we should be practicing all of these as part of this order. Three, healing techniques such as Ushi Reiki, Tibetan Shekhan Reiki, Pranic Healing, Naga Yoga, which is Kukalini Yoga, Tantra Kriya Yoga, electromagnetic modalities, massage, suggestion, and protection, or projection, excuse me, of thought, which is hypnosis, herbology, herbalism, etc., should be practiced. In reference to the science of healing, all priests, high priests, sacred seats of the council, engage in the healing of art. Melchizedek utilizes green, the color green, purple, which is violet, and gold light. Healing the body with divine activities that has a considerable degree of attention. The Ra'u or the Elu, which is the Elohim, or Allahuma, or the Anunnaki's, or the Nomos, teaches that the alien or sick body or even dead body, especially within three days, because of the etheric cord is still partially attached, can be filled with divine power, the light, healing ether, vitality, or astral energy, prana, or nefs, so as to cast out illness and disease. The Raul teaches that the ailing sick body can be cured by various plants, and herbs or herbs for every illness of the human body or human being there exists a root or herb or leaf or bark to heal that ailment or illness or sickness the method taught is accumulated in the united washita more nation system of tamari yoga called washita samatawi or Washeta Samatawi, which means serpent to the eye, the union of lower and higher self or higher lands. Four. Free healing services twice a week. This is what we should be doing. With meditation, prayer, chant, dicker, hakau, hesis, Mantras, mutras, breathing, song, rhythmic dance, drumming, etc. Five, prophetic engagements, communion with the higher self, higher spirits, ancestors. No demonology, such as bluff sacrifices, is utilized, for they are not necessary. The universe is abundant with Reiki or pranic or energy, which is red like blood like a ruby, and is the universal life force energy. 
So the universe pranic energy is red like blood. So by taking that in, there's no need for communion. The faking of the body of Jesus and the blood of Jesus. Six, mastery of one's diet or live it as we refer to it as alkaline food, electric food, the best that you can, of course. Herbal practices, personal hygiene practices, spiritual cleansing practices. Seven, cells of fruit, healing edibles, herbal remedies, incense, resins, soaps, oils, and ointments. Eight, homeschool, high school and collegiate university for a better future. All right, this is also one of our symbols. So you've seen two symbols. The first symbol was the eight-pointed star. Now you see this winged disc of canoe, or what's called Kef. This archetype image is symbolic of the threefold spirit, eternal spirit, and the dual soul supporting the sphere of individual beings, the name itself apparently being derived from the combination of ka or nef, kanef, being later being the first part of the word, nef, nefer, which in Hebrew is nefesh, which is derived and later nafish in Arabic. The fact that the kanef symbol was always to be found over Temple doorways is indicative of the fact that only the spirit was regarded as being able to pass back and forth between different souls, states, and thus different rooms. All right. Somebody else can read. And our purpose. I got to die. All right. Uh, purpose. Number one, to bestow members with high moral standards and raise members to their ultimate spiritual conscious level. One must strive to be reunited with their, our creator, Lord, and personal savior, Heru, the earliest form of the biblical Jesus. Esoterically, is the awakened soul. Occultly, it is known as the higher self. Metaphysically, this is the Nature Pata, the Tamiri, earliest form of Buddha, and the latter form of Muhammad, the seventh seal of the Prophet, symbolizing the seventh crown chakra, Sin Karal Ariku. The seven chakras are biblical, the seven seals, called in Hebrew, the seven Elohim, many gods. Number two. to live in universal order, cosmic alignment, and in tune with nature, the terror or the forces, seven elements, earth, water, fire, air, ether, it's a sound, light, and thought. Number three, to maintain love, truth, peace, freedom, and just, justice, righteousness, integrity, and order, harmony, balance, ma, mayat. Four, to build health and wellness centers, educational institutions, farms, and etc. Five, to learn natural law, laws of nations, linking back to the family of nations, etc. Common sense, common law, reasoning, <clears throat> human rights, indigenous law, international law, etc. Six to establish theaters, museums, temples, mosques, churches, shrines, shamanistic practices, and all natural progressive forms of worship. Number seven, to study chemistry, 
alchemy, biology, ecology, archaeology, anthropology, ethnology, and all sciences that brings balance to or connection for humanity. Letter from PRAB, Prince Ramesses, Abel Bay, Melchizedek, Melchizedek, Melchizedek in 2003. We of ICGROM, the Indigenous Cosmic Golden Red Order of Melchizedek, seek to, seek to expound the central love, to generate the true God force, and share it with all women and men. We are the mercy and the beneficence of life itself. Life has a consistent pattern that interlocks all humanity. Our purpose is to unite all, to be considerate of all life, and to center ourselves in, around, and through the golden light of healing. I, Prince Ramses Abel Bay, Melchizedek, proclaim that we move away from violence, self-hatred, civility or more truth, and it's a poor life. Yours, Supreme Grand High Priest, P.R.A.B., Prince Ramses, Abel Bay, Melchizedek. Melchizedek, Melchizedek, Malachi, Malachi Zodok. <clears throat> Indigenous Cosmic Golden Ray Order of Melchizedek. I.C.G.R.O.N.'s Samari Smatawi Egyptian Yoga is known as Wachita Samai Tawi. Wachita Samai Tawi Kundalini Yoga is a collection of ancient yogic teachings. Qigong, Qigong, Falun Gong, Chinese Yoga, Tai Chi, Bakwa, Nertong, Rifong, etc. I don't know one more because that's what I'm talking about. and practices for self-transformation through self-realization and self-mastery. These were the teachings and practices that allowed the Nidu, Nidu, Nidus, Pharaoh, for uh, high officials and craftsmen and women, priests and priestesses, and sages and yogis, the intelligent, harmonious, disciplined, self-realized leaders in ancient indigenous cultures. Above is the symbol of Smite, alongside an image of the lung and trachea and the pelvis and spine. This is the Maduna chair, hieroglyph of Smite. Smite represents the union of the two lungs and the trachea with the brain, but it also represents the union of the pelvis and the spine with the brain. Both of these teachings hold significance to what's it called Smite Egyptian yoga system and spiritual enlightenment. The union of the lungs and trachea is seen as necessary in order to breathe. This breath of life allows the brain and nervous system to activate the conscious union of the body and brain. This experience of the consciousness, union of the body and brain, is critical to being alive. The brain and body are not separate, although they seem to be from a thinking and experiencing standpoint. Yet, neither exists or operates without the other. This union is critical to life. It is in this living union of the brain and body that we experience physical life and the opportunities to live a life of positive qualities, such as harmony, bliss, unconditional love and liberation, or negative qualities, such as fetters of negativity, dogma, constriction, restriction, and hindrance. Thus, the smile symbol is also a symbol of life with an emphasis on physical existence. Most importantly, this symbol represents our original living nature, which we experience in our first breath, our awakening, our resurrection. It then points to the higher teachings of the smile symbol, which will be which we'll be going into more in depth below.
<clears throat> in order to fully understand the Maduna Chair, hieroglyphic symbol of Smaitaru, we must delve, do, delve into the symbology and teaching of the Ankh. The Ankh symbolizes the birthing, maintaining, and empowering of consciousness. The Maduna Chair, hieroglyphic symbol of the Ankh, is shown as a loop and shaft tied together, symbolizing a living being with a, with a heart as the knot in the middle. The heart is considered the center of our existence and consciousness. However, it does expand to the center of the brain, the pineal gland, where the soul is embedded at. The breath of life, Ankh, is therefore considered the life force of the heart, the physical seed atom, is located in the right ventricle of the heart. The body, therefore, is an air gas engine that runs on air, ah, breath of life. It is the breath, not food, that sustains the consciousness in the body-brain physical existence. The ah, therefore, represents air being used to vitalize the heart, through which the circulatory system and blood enliven the body and brain in order for a living being to experience physical existence. This is very significant for comedic yoga in many ways. The breath of life, which empowers the union of the body and brain, is symbolized by receiving the Ankh, life, from the gods and goddesses, with Netzeru, elements and functions of existence. For a person to receive the Ankh, one must be able to breathe in, breathe in the life, prana, chi, ki, mana, vril, through the lungs and trachea, smile, as symbolized by the image above where the Nagu, Pharaoh, Pharaoh, the living Haru, initiate, is receiving the Ankh from the god Tahuti. This symbology shows the Nagu, Pharaoh, with the serpent. Kundalini to the third eye on the forehead and headdress of Amun Ray symbology. This signifies our original divine nature as the master of existence and the identity of the creator being Amun Ray. The Hudi is the divine, is the divinity that represents consciousness, which provides the Ankh, breath of life, the ability to breathe and be alive. It symbolizes that consciousness imbibes the body and brain with life and that we exist in our original nature as a divine master and creator of our own existence. Unlike traditional forms of yoga, Wachita, Smaitawi, Wajet Yoga, uses the Tameri, Tometic spiritual system as its basis. All chants are spoken in the Tameri Medu Nichir, Kemetic Egyptian language. And the divine principles and their symbols are a focal point of the various sections of the system. As mentioned, Wajet would be most comparable to Kundalini Yoga, slow, yin, and vigorous yang movement is balanced with deep meditation. Chanting and mudras and postures that work on the reflexology of the body are integrated into the meditations in order to achieve the maximum spiritual benefit from a session. And there are 42 sacred laws in the Tameri Kemetic spiritual system in Wachita Smai Sema Tawi Wajit Yoga has been divided into six separate sections, each with seven sets that build upon each other for a total number of 42 sets in the entire series. Wachita Wajit was set up in proportionate division so that the practitioner could concentrate his or her efforts on the spiritual completion of one aspect at a time or have the choice to complete the entire series as a whole, which can be repeated indefinitely. 
Each set is designed to stand alone for the benefit of physical and mental health and wellness, or to be practiced as a series in order to cultivate the various aspects of the spirit or breath. The seven liberal arts, which formed the foundation training for all neophytes, included grammar, arithmetic, rhetoric, and dialect, the the quadrivium, and geometry, astronomy, and music. The trivium. The first degree educates you in the course or base aspects of medicine and is known as pastoros. Pastoros. All known and unknown sciences. Second degree, Neopolis, focuses on the standard structural energy of medicine of medicines such as the energy of shapes, squares, pyramids, triangles, and obelisks. Third degree, melanophoros. The student learns the energy forces of non-polarized energy, such as the melanin, can scroll down five, Uh, such as the melanin, DNA, I'm still on the third degree dot, energy state, which is created between the death and life state. Fourth degree, kiss the forest. The student learns how to build the inherent law of plants, crystals, metals, colors, magnets, music, etc. Fifth degree, dalahate. The student learns the science of nature and interactions of alchemical laws. Sixth degree, astronomers. The student learns cycles, astrology, numerology, and the manipulations of the cosmic forces and their reaction in the cells, thoughts, biochemistry, organs, bones, emotions, vitamins, and minerals in the body and on the galaxy. Seventh degree. Prophetic. The student learns all the secrets of the higher mystery system and becomes a god, Ph.D. Sumum bonum is a Moorish Latin expression meaning the highest good, which was introduced by Cicero to correspond to the idea of the good in ancient Manoa, Crete Etruscan philosophy. The medical practitioners of Africa, Africa, receive formal education by being initiated in the mystery system. A medical student was selected for initiation just as students are selected for college via scores and personality profiles. The students, initiates, could participate in their education on a general education level called exoteric learning, such as Education of the Egyptian priests in A, the seven liberal arts, B, secret systems of languages and mathematical symbolism, C, magic, nine levels, sciences. Consequently, history informs us that the Greeks were forced to make a study of ethics, which they also borrowed from the Egyptian sumum bonum, or greatest good. The other two Athenian philosophers must be mentioned here. I mean Socrates and Plato, who also became famous in history as philosophers and great thinkers. Every schoolboy believes that when he hears or reads the command, know thyself, he is hearing or reading words which were uttered by Socrates. But the truth is that the Egyptian temples carried inscriptions on the outside addressed to neophytes, and among them was the injunction, know thyself. Socrates copied these words from the Temeri, Temerian Egyptian temples, and was not the author. All mystery temples, inside and outside of Temeri, Kemet, Egypt, carried such inscriptions, just like the weekly bulletins of our modern churches. Similarly, 
Every schoolboy believes that when he hears or reads the names of the four cardinal virtues, he is hearing or reading names of virtues determined by Plato. Nothing has been more misleading. For the Tamiri, Commission, Egyptian mystery system contained ten virtues. And from this source, Plato copied what have been called the four cardinal virtues, justice, wisdom, temperance, and courage. It is indeed surprising how for centuries the Greeks have been praised by the Western world for intellectual accomplishments, which belong without a doubt to the Egyptians, the peoples of North Africa. The schools of philosophy, Chaldean, Greek, and Persian, were part of the ancient mystery system of Egypt. They were conducted in secrecy according to the demands of... Who is that? Syriaca? Yeah. Okay. Whose teachings became common to all the schools. In keeping with the demands for secrecy, The writing and publication of teachings were strictly forbidden and consequently initiates who had developed satisfactorily in their training and had been advanced to the rank of master or teacher refrained from publishing the teachings of the mysteries or philosophy. The next thing that is peculiar about Greek philosophy is its use in literature. The Egyptian mystery system was the first secret order of history and the publication of its teachings was strictly prohibited. This explains why initiates like Socrates did not commit to writing their philosophy and why the Babylonians and Chaldeans, who were very closely associated with them, also refrained from publishing those teachings. During the Persian, Greek, and Roman invasions, large numbers of Egyptians fled not only to the desert and mountain regions, but also to adjacent lands in Africa, Arabia, and Asia Minor, where they lived and secretly developed the teachings which belonged to their mystery system. <clears throat> in the 8th century AD, the Moors, i.e. natives of Mauritania in North Africa, invaded Spain and took with them the Egyptian culture with which they had preserved. Knowledge in the ancient days was centralized i.e., it belongs to a common parent and system, i.e., the wisdom teaching or mysteries of Egypt, which the Greeks used to call Sophia. As such, the people of North Africa were the neighbors of the Egyptians and became the custodians of Egyptian culture, which they spread through considerable portions of Africa, Asia Minor, and Europe. During the occupation of Spain, the Moors displayed with considerable credit the grandeur of African culture and civilization. The schools and libraries which they established became famous throughout the medieval world. Science and learning were cultivated and taught. The schools of Cordova, Toledo, Seville, and Saragossa attained such celebrity that they, like their parent Egypt, attracted students from all parts of the Western world, and from them arose the most famous African professors that the world has ever known in medicine, surgery, astronomy, and mathematics. But these people from North Africa did more than merely distinguish themselves in Spain. They were really the recognized custodians of African culture to whom the world looked for enlightenment. Consequently, through the medium of the ancient Arabic language, Philosophy and the various branches of science were disseminated. A. The so-called works of Aristotle in metaphysics, moral philosophy, and natural science. B. Translations by Leonardo Pisano in Arabic, mathematical science. C. Translation by Judeo, a monk of Arezzo, and that physical notation. Sedgwick and Pilate's History of Science. In addition, the Moors kept up constant contact with Mother Egypt, where they had established caliphates not only at Baghdad and Cordova, but also at Cairo and Egypt. 
Europe in the Middle Ages by Alt, pages 216 and 219. Just here, it would be well to mention that all the great leaders of the great religions of antiquity were initiates of the Egyptian mystery system. From Moses, who was an Egyptian hierogramic, down to Christ. The immigration of Greeks to Egypt for the purpose of their education began as a result of the Persian invasion, 525 BC, and continued until the Greeks gained possession of that land and access to the royal library through the conquest of Alexander the Great. Alexandria was converted into a Greek city, a center of research and the capital of the newly created Greek Empire under the rule of Ptolemies. Egyptian culture survived and flourished under the name and control of the Greeks until the edicts of Theodosius in the 4th century AD and that of Justinian in the 6th century AD, which closed the mystery temples and schools as elsewhere mentioned. Ancient Egypt by John Kendrick, Book 2, page 55, Stanford's Mediterranean World, page 562 and 570, Education. It is said that during the reign of Amasis, Thales, who was said to have been born about 585 BC, visited Egypt and was initiated by the Egyptian priests into the mystery system and science of the Egyptians. We are also told that during his residence in Egypt, he learned astronomy, land surveying, mensuration, engineering, and Egyptian theology. See Thales and Blackwell's source book of philosophy. Seller's history of philosophy, Diogenes, Nerius, and Kendrick. Accordingly, we are told that Ptolemy I, Soter, in order to elicit the secrets of Egyptian, Egyptian wisdom or mystery system, ordered Menetho, the high priest of the Temple of Isis at Debenitis, Debenitis, in Lower Egypt, to write the philosophy and the history of the religion of the Egyptians. Accordingly, Manitho published several volumes concerning these respective fields, and Ptolemy issued an order prohibiting the translation of these books, which had, which had to be kept on reserve in the library for instruction of the Greeks by the Egyptian priests. Here it becomes quite clear that the first professors of the Alex Alexandrian school were the Egyptian priests and that the scholars and pupils of Aristotle's transferred school received their training directly from the Egyptian priests. It is also well to note that the chief textbooks of the Alexandrian school were the Nepo's books. We are told by Apollodorus, from whom Syncellus drew his information, that Ptolemy II ordered Eratos, Eratosthenes, these are some weird names, man. <laughs> the Cyrenian, mm -hmm. i.e. a black man, the native of Cyrene, a librarian mm -hmm. of the Alexandrian library, mm -hmm. to write a chronology of the Theban kings, and that er Eratosthenes did so with the aid of the Egyptian hierophants at Thebes. Ancient Egypt, John Kendrick, Volume 2, page 81. Apollodorus, Sincellus, Clinton, Fasti, Heleniki, Sub Anna. The doctrine of philosophy of opposites is further demonstrated by the Egyptian creation story, in which quarter came out of chaos and which was represented by four pairs of opposites, i.e. male and female gods, A, Nun and Anet, i.e. primeval matter in space, B, Hook and Hawket, i.e. limitable and the boundless, C, Hu and Hawet, i.e. darkness and obscurity, D, 
Amun, which is Amen, and Amenet, Amenta, i.e. the hidden and concealed ones, the air, the wind. The doctrine of the Nus, as a matter of fact, originated from C, the mystery system of Egypt, in connection with which the Nater Asaru, god Osiris, was represented in all Temeri, Phoenician Egyptian temples, by the symbol of an open eye, Osiris, referred to elsewhere. The symbol indicated not only sight that transcended space and time, but also omniscience, as the great mind which created and which still directs the universe. The symbol also forms a part of the decoration of all Masonic lodges of the modern world and dates back to the Osirian or sun worship of the Egyptians more than 5,000 B.C. The same notion was also represented by the Egyptians by a god with eyes all over him and was known as the all-seeing eye, all I see. Zealous History of Philosophy, page 809. The Ancient Mysteries, D. H. Vail, page 189. Max Muller, Egyptian Mythology. The system of ethics, as has already been mentioned, belonged to the mystery system of Egypt, which required neophytes in preparation for initiation to keep the following Ten Commandments underlying which were Ten Principles of Virtue. Um, noon, the personification of the prim primeval water. Kihu, the personification of infinity. Kiku, the personification of darkness. Amun, the personification of the unknown. Anybody else want to pick up real quick? I need some water. <laughs> right. All right. The doctrine of philosophy of the opposite is further demonstrated by the ancient Egyptian creation story in which order came from out of chaos and which is represented by four pairs of opposite, male and female gods. In other words, the number eight, which is our number or our symbol, is a pointed star. Noon and Nuket, or Nunet, symbolizes um, primeval matter and space. Heck and Heket, limitable, uh, limitable and uh, limitable, uh, limit, yeah, limitable and the boundless. Who and who at darkness and obscurity. Amen, and which is Amen, and then Amunet, which is Amenta. The hidden and concealed ones, the air, wind, the doctrine of the noose, which is the mind, as a matter of fact, originates from the ancient mystery school system, which is con which connections with which the nature of sorrow is present in all. The natural rules, or the or the Timeri tam, Kemetic temples, um, by the symbol of the open eye, Osiru, God Osiris, was original or was represented in all Timerian temples by the symbol of the open eye, which is O Iris, Oz Iris, Oz. All right. The symbol indicates not only sight that transcends space and time, but also the omniscience at the great mind which was created, that which shall direct the universe. This symbol is also formed part of the declaration of the Masonic lodges in the modern world and dates back to the Osirian and sun worship of the Egyptians more than 5,000 years ago. All right. 
This symbol also formed a part of the decoration of the, okay, I read that, of the Masonic lodges of the Mani world and dated back to the Osirian and, and um, sun worship of the ancient Egyptian more than 5,000 years um, or 7,000 BC, called 7,000 years ago. That's what it is. The same notion was also represented by the Egyptian, by a god of eyes all over him, who was known as the All-Seeing Eye or the All-Eye-Seeing. This is the House of Philosophy, 809 by Zeller. The Ancient Mysteries of Charles Vell, page 189. And Max Moller, Egyptian Yoga, I mean Egyptian Mythology. This system of ethnic has already been mentioned belonging to the mystery system of Egypt, which requires neophytes in preparation for initiation to keep the following Ten Commandments, uh, which are seven, ten principles of the virtue. All right. And of course, we know those come from the 42 laws of Mayat. The Ten Commandments come directly from the 42 laws of Mayat, which comes from 147 Native Confessions. All right. Everybody understand that? The Ten Commandments that is mentioned in the book of Deuteronomy and Exodus comes directly, directly from 42 laws of my yard. Yes, understand, overstand, brother. All right. Overstand. All right, and we come to find out that Moses actually was the, Moses the third who sat on the throne of Egypt as a Nagu during the 18th going to the 19th dynastic period. Right, they was calling. They called the 147 negative confessions. The 147 negative confessions. We don't call it that. Okay. The dog. There was 107 positive as well, right? It's positive. Right. I can't hear you, brother. Joe. I'll say that one more time. I say there were there were positive affirmations as well. There's, I think, 147, 44 positive and 140. Have a negative one, if I'm not mistaken. Gotcha. But together, they refer to it as the negative confessions, which, like we said, we don't correlate to that. Um, here we have noon, the symbol of Metru Nature of noon, um, the purification of the primeval waters. We have Hihu which is the symbol of Tahuti, the per per personification of infinity. We have Kiku, the personification of darkness. And we have Amun, the personification of the unknown. The Tamari, or Kamal, or Egyptians, call them Hiu called them he who, which of course he who becomes Yahweh or Yahuwah. He who becomes Yahuwah. They're represented by four pairs of primordial quality forces or deities. As you already stated before, so A, which is symbolic to Amen Amenet, N equals Newt or Nuet, K equals Kuk or Kehet, and H symbolizes Ha or Hayat. So 
that is Unk, which is Yahweh or Yahuwah. All right, the four base amino acids, the building blocks of life, called protein. If these are primordial creators or important forces, that their names will have primordial sounds set and chanted together, which produces the unk or the ung, which can awaken DNA. The following are examples. Unk, Pata, Seker, or Saw, which means life creation, death, and resurrection. All right. This is a mantra for stimulating a profound protection force on all levels of human activity. It helps set into motion the process of transformation of the individual into human from human into superhuman. All right, so Ankh, Pata, Saker, or Saw. All right. Om Pita Sekar Asa Om Pita Sekar Asa Om Pita Sekar Asa Om Pita Sekar Asa Om Next we have Om Asa Hong Om Asa Hong Ong of so hung, Ong of so hung, Ong of so hung, which means life, eternal, and is an indivisibility, and something you cannot be, which something is cannot be torn apart, and that symbolizes life begins in the state of triple darkness, blackness. Blackness is the source of creation. So God. The mantra for manifesting your true self and the source of all spiritual power. Okay. So that particular mantra is for manifesting your true self and the source of all spiritual powers. Ongo so hong, 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 Washed Taish got kicked out. Yes, it was Taish. All right. Who's ready to read? I'm going to read, but I can't see it. Oh, okay. My computer's okay, still man. down. I'm, I would have read a long time ago. I just want you okay, to know that. Okay, brother. Anyone else? Come on. Um, the neophyte must control, uh, first control his thoughts, second control his actions, third have devotion of purpose, five have faith in the ability of his master to teach him the truth. Oh, that was four, actually. Uh, five, have faith in um, himself to assimilate the truth. Uh, six, have faith in himself to will the truth. Seven, um, be free from resentment under the experience of persecution. Eight, be free from 
resentment under experience of wrong. Nine, cultivate the ability to distinguish between right and wrong and cultivate the ability to distinguish between the real and the unreal. He must have a sense of values. The gods of order and arrangement in a cosmos are represented a non god and one godhead called the any here a tomb autumn the source of Agdo is also retained as a source of the gods of order and arrangement. Atu Masum named four pairs of parts in his own body and thus creates a gods who together with himself become nine. These eight gods are the created gods, the first creatures of this world. And Atum, Atum, the creator god, in his form as Fatah, the Hui, or Hui, Yahweh, the Demiurge, Alil, Botha, Jehovah, and who Plato spoke, and gods of Adam, Adam, projected from his body where? Two air, Tanu, Master, Moisture, Gab, Earth, and Nuts, Guy, who are said to have given birth to the four other gods, Ashur, Osiris, and Nether, God of Anani, Amani, Potence, and Armini, Science, and Omini. Presence. I said Isis, wife of Osiris, female principal queen of heaven, Sut, Slat, Sut in an opposing matter, Dev, Het, Nephthys, and female principals in the unseen world, Udarat, Isis, at Osiris, 355A, decline, so forth. Um, there are three different subjects that are explained in story forms using four personified concepts Asar, Cyrus, Set, Isis, Eru, Horus, and Set, Seth. The fourth element of the world water, fire, earth, and air, as quoted from Buddha Moralia, volume. Five, the Egyptians simply give the name of Ashur Osiris, the whole source and faculty creative of moisture, creative of moisture, believing this to be the cause of generation and the substance of life-producing seed, and the name of Set, Typhon in Greek. They give to all the dry, fiery, and in general, the antagonistic to moisture, as the Egyptians regard the Nile as the effusion of a star, and they hold and believe the earth to be the body of a Isis. Not all of it, but so much as the Nile covers fertilizing it and uniting with it. From this union, they make a root for us to be born, all conserving and Fortising aura that is seasonable, tempting, and the surrounding air is the rule for us. The insidious scheming and disruption of set typhoon, then it's the power of drought which gains control and dissipates the moisture, which is the source of the Nile, and is rising. According to the Memphite theology of Egyptians, Atum created eight gods who proceeded from eight parts of his own body. He was seated upon Ptah, the mound that was unmoved. And this act of creation, Atum, Atum became the unmoved mover in spite of the Memphite theology being the direct source of these doctrines. Yet, Plato has been given credit 
for the circular circulum of the Egyptian mystery system consisted of the following subjects. The seven liberal arts which formed the foundation training for all neophytes and including grammar, arithmetic, 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 and dialect. Quadrivium and geometry, astronomy, music. The tribune, the sciences of the 42 books of Tahiti, Hermes or Eru, Mess, in addition to the foundation training described for all neophytes, those who saw holy order had to be versed in the books of Hermes and according to Clement of Alexandria, other orders and subjects were as follows. The singer or Otis, who must know two books of Hermes dealing with music, the hymns of the gods. The horoscopist, who must know four books of Hermes dealing with astronomy. The hierogrammat, who must know the hieroglyphics, cosmography, geography, astronomy, and the teopraxy of Egypt and land surveying. The solities, who must know the books of Hermes that deal with slaughter of animals and the processes of embalming. The prophets, who is the president of the temple, who must know ten books of Hermes dealing with higher the citric theology and the whole educational priest. The post forty who must know six books of Hermes, which are medical books dealing with physiology, the diseases of male and female anatomy, drugs and instruments. The science the sciences of monuments, pyramids, temples, libraries, oblique, sphinxes, idols, architecture, masonry, carpentry, engineering, sculpture, metallurgy, metallurgy, agriculture, mining, and forestry, art, drawing, and painting. The secret sciences, numer numerical symbolism, geometrical symbolism, magic, the Book of the Dead, Myths, and Parables, Stolen Legacy, Greek Physiology, and Stolen Egyptian Physiology. The Journal of Pan-African Studies, 2009, e-book. One, the summon bunum, which means the greatest good, the lifting of man from level of immortal and advance him to a level of God, the salvation of the soul, the purpose of physiology, Philosophy, the role of the Egyptian theory of salvation, to the Grand Lodge of Luxor. The ruins of the ancient Grand Lodge of Luxor are found today on the banks of the Nile in Upper Egypt in the ancient city of Thebes. It was built by Pharaoh Amenetheus III. It was the only Grand Lodge of the ancient world. Sorry. Hey, there you go. Okay, so uh, um, they had branches of minor lodges throughout the ancient world in Europe, Asia, Africa, North Af America, South America, and probably in Australia. These were some of the places: A Palestine at Mount Carmel, Sierra at Mount Hermon, and Libya. Babylon, media near the Red Sea, India on the banks of the Gages, Burma, Athens, Rome, Croton, Rose, Delphi, Miletus, Cyprus, Crete, Crete, Central or South Africa, America, especially Peru, among the American Indians, and among the Mayas, Aztecs, and Incas of Mexico. 
Diogen, Leod, Leonosis. Leo T S. Leo T S. And history of philosophy by Thomas Stanley, the discovery of the rooms of Luxor or the Bank of the Nile, and the organization of the Egyptian mysteries into a grand lodge, which minor lodges throughout the ancient world, were evidence that Egypt was the cradle of the mysteries and the Masonic Brotherhood. The Egyptian mystery system was the only holy Catholic religion of the remote antiquity. It was the one and only Masonic order of antiquity. We as I C G R O M continues to be traditions, however, not in the separation of Freemasons and the Eastern Stars, but in unison. All right, we're looking now at the offices and duties. What is the ICRO or when read? Well, answer, in order of love. Love of self, love of higher self. An ICRO member uses the universal life force energy of prana, chi, or ki energy. Huna, mana, holy spirit, healing energy of lights or astral lights and colors, healing, healing sound of power and thought projection and suggestion for the benefit of humanity and the other life force, animals, trees, waters that we may interact with out of divine love. Two, what is the office of the Supreme Grand High Priest or Priestess? which is known as the Ida Nature, answer, to lead meetings, address difficulties, enforce laws of the order, to issue ordinances, and help in the evaluation of candidates. Three, what is the office of captain, which is called the Sahij, answer, to lead training methods, oversee security, and maintain peace in the order of light. Now, reading these, you have to think of yourself in these positions. Four, what is the office of Lieutenant Emiket? Answer, to build and assist the captain grand priestess, grand priest, and help in the maintenance of the priesthood. Five, what is the order of secretary, record keeper, and or treasury, which is called the Sesh Pa'ank, recorder, Tahuti, or Maya Kohu, or Ma Koru, and archivist of all meetings, as well as the bank of finances of the order, financier of the order. Six, what is the office of a high priest, priestess, or what is called a wab, a wabet, a wabet? Answer, the order, chief office, officer that holds all facets of the veil and covenant. Seven, what is the meaning veil and covenant? Answer, love, thy mother, which is called Mayad Ra, or Muthir, or Mutheru, and thy father, Patara, love thy neighbor as thyself. Positions. Now pay attention to the positions. When read, the priesthood, the supreme grand high priest or priestess, grand high priest, priestess, or high priestess, or high priest, and all those priests in various positions or to take a vow of service, humility, spiritual warriors or healers too. Yet nature, 
literally translate to father mother of the gods. While in the older period of the Timerian Kemetian Egyptian history, this title can be held by members of the priesthood of the higher ranks. Umjara frequently held other titles and positions within the temple. Sedija, inspector of the priesthood. Aimaket, supervisors of temple operations. Him nature, man, service of the goddess, gods, and him nature, or naturette, woman, service of the goddess, whom the primary ancient Tamarian word for priest or priestess, wab, man, and wabet, woman, means pure priest. They are responsible for the purity of, of ritual and the cleanliness of sacred rooms, tools, paraphernalia, and priesthood. All right. Um, MNU Net or MNU Note, along with the scribes of the House of Life, the MNU Note, or astrologers, astronomers, priests, and priestess who calculate the position of sun, moons, stars, and planets. All right, these are the astrologers. If you know how to do astrology, then you would be called. Him and you, Newt. Kurt Hatt was the priest of priestess who recited the liturgy and magic spells. These were the priests who did the reading rituals. They were wordsmiths. They was under Tahuti, who was known as the sacred god of the words, or the scribes. Sesh per unk means scribes of the house of life, were the learned priesthood, including mathematicians, doctors, and scientists. Sesh ken were the orders of the priesthood. Sunu, those priests involved with healing. I'm a Sunu. Raket, Raket, meaning knowing one. The Raket was considered a wise woman. They are seers who were able to communicate with the dead. It appears that the Raket was comprised of women only who had passed their childbearing years. Saul, workers of protective magic. The whole thing was to protect. Duat, nature. This term literally means in, turn, in tune with the force of nature and worship of the God. They are depicted in performing all the temple rites that are preserved for one or only the highest excuse me, levels of the clergy. Their position were um, was also referred to as God's wife or the hand of God, both of which echoes back to the creation myth in which Het Heru or Hathor and Nabat um, Hetepet um, or Aus, which is all set. Um, sexually simulated Atun Ray or Atun Ra so that the creation may begin. And if you don't know that duat is the same word as twat, which means the vaginal, then you might need to do a little bit more research. 
you have um, il motif, the male equivalent of the duat nature. This is the term that translates the pillar of his mother. The term pillar also or often represents the phallus as seen in mysteries of Osset, Isis, and also Osiris. As it seemed logical that the similar to the the white nature um, priests, the Inumuti priest stimulates goddesses, goddesses to whom the priest may be in service so that facility, fertility regeneration would continue. This is reminiscent of Ra's title as the bull of his mother, representing the cycle of fertility and creation in which Ra impregnated Het Heru at the noonday sun so that she could give birth to him the next day. Mwamu. Mwamu. The term meaning messenger or prophet or herald. These appear to have been trained to be intermediaries between the natural and humans. This skill seems to particular to have been employed in regard to oracle. Then you have sim, as in sim, simen, or seaman. The sim were mercenary priests that oversaw and conducted funeral rites. Hine, Hine was a priest of the The priest of the um, mortuary priest who oversaw and conducted the funeral rites or rituals. Hanif, they are the temple um, musicians and dancers. And then you have Wiret Herni or Hanir, uh, which means a priest or priestess of the highest or high rank. Music and dancing were performed to promote fertility and rebirth. And as such, Hernair participated in almost all ceremonies for festivals to funerals. The teachers may complete subsequent immediate levels and senior levels of certification. In Yuesheta, Samatawi, Egyptian yogic, Traditions, followers of the Nepa Nature or Nechu or Necherus are known as a circle of Semu or Shimu or Shimshu or Shimshu Hor in, incarnated uh, Necherus priesthood teachers are known as Seba or Sebi. Doctors, Senu or Sinu. And Masters, Neb and then Nibi, um, Masters, Neb or Nubigan, Neb or Nebu or Nebo. The Nebu meaning Lord and Master. Another meaning is golden. In alchemical terms, one who is as transformed his or herself from base metal to into gold. This is symbolic of the work required to um, develop oneself to a better person through the system of Tahuti, Mayat, which of course symbolizes balance. Then we have um, Washashet or Washeta Samatawi, which contains 10 forms of practice. First, Wab, which is yoga of purification. Hika, yoga of Hika, which is mantras. Tef Neturu, yogi of physical postures. Ankh, breathing. Yoga of life force, breathing exercises. Yuashu, yogi of devotional love. Shiti, yoga of 
of insight and wisdom. Mahkaru, Mahkaru, Yogi or Yoga of Living Truth. Shekham, Yoga of Tantra. Nihes, Yoga of Meditation. And Aku, Yoga of Dreams. Okay. The five practices that lead to the state of Washeta Samatawi or devotional love equals Samatawi of Washu. Insight equals Samatawi of Shitti. Chufu living equals Samatawi of Makaru. All right, Tantra equals Samatawi of Shekel. Meditations equals Samatawi of Nahes. All right, somebody else ready to read? Yes, everyone does not have to rush. I have a little noise in my background. Okay. These ten forms are, oh, let's go from it up. Single form of practice or any figural practice. These terms, forms, of Tamari Gametic Samatawi Yoga are all practiced integratedly, all practiced together. One single yoga form can take an individual to the ultimate goal. Samatawi, but it is advice to undertake all forms because they provide a harmonic practice which works with all areas of one's nature. A lay practitioner may practice only one of the forms of Tamari, Kometic, Samatawi Yoga, or just, for example, they may read scripture, incite, and give offerings, devotional love, one part along has the ability to take an individual to higher states of consciousness, to self-realization. The synthesis of all forms is one who truly seeks to pursue his highest level of practices and be a Tamari Kemetic Samatawi Yoga, a priest or priestess. This is high level practice is done simply through living the yoga the yoga practice practice and applying terms to one's life. As one learn more about them, studying their specific section in this in this site, one can understand that these practices from into a lifestyle form into a lifestyle. When this occurs, the highest practice can be maintained at all times and all places, regardless of one's responsibility in life outside the yoga practice. This is being who is worthy to awaken in this lifetime. Ritual ceremonies and sacraments. Atonement with chrism, DMT, or N, N, DM, Thai, Pamaren, Pineal, and Holy Breath. Three facts and one release. A crumb. 
Holy Day is celebrated annually. A. Great Britain of Hero Christ, December 21st, burn white candle. B. Great Trails Passover of Hero Christ, over suit Satan, March 21st, burn green candle. The Great Re Reunification Hero Light Day Time over suit. June 21st, burn gold candles. Great Ascension, Passion Remembrance, Celebration, Living Relatives, Ascended Family, Friends, Masters, and Fellow Travelers, September 22nd, burn black candles, then burn white candles. E, through F, are celebrated with feast, worship, and celebration. E is celebrated with remembrance of our ascended, deceased, and learned and term living ancestors. It's used instead uh, of dead relatives. Laws. First law is to show love my act without discrimination. Love arise spontaneously when harvest and anger and other forms of selfish and negative thoughts are absent. Second law is to hurt no one and help all. Note Jesus figuratively summoned up the Ten Commandments, which was summoned up from 4277, 147, said negative confession of my act into one, one commandment, the do unto others as you have done, as you have them do unto you. In other words, as your parents have told you, I am sure, on numerous occasions, treat people the way in which you would like to be treated. This is beyond name, physical birth name, given that it is, a, it is not referencing one galactic name, race, creed, color, nationality, ethnicity, handicap, or etc. The third law is to work towards total inner and and outer peace, ma'at, the unity, samatawi, with the higher self, Allah, or over the man, mind. If you practice meditation daily, then gradually over the years without starting to be perfect, you will become less and less self-centered and natural love for others will arise within you. Thus, with changing the inner world of oneself, you automatically change the outer world. The Supreme Grand High Priest, P.R.A.B. Prince Ramesses, Ramesses Abel B. Melchizedek is the inspiration of this order. The Ikram, indigenous cosmic golden ray, Ra, order of Melchizedek. Ikram is the order of light, the mastery of dark. We call upon Melchizedek, Heru. Maku, Sat Seken. We are non denominational, yet we bear the seven stones of the ancient science. Said mysteries, Ha Kaha, spiritual system, religion, which Judaism, Christianity, and Islam said 
monotheistic religious Zoroastrian Hinduism, Buddhism, Confucianism, Taoism, etc. are derived. The Hakka teachings are found in the lands among the religions. Our structure symbolizes the force of one, the supreme grand high priest or grand priestess. In her and his, she has the power to form laws. As long as the laws are in tune with nature, called natural law, and not colorable law, which the assistance of the captain, lieutenant, secretary, record keeper, and treasurer. Samatawi, Union of the Two Lands. Peru and Set, Higher Self and Lower Self. A crumb healing system is called Uta Hita Samatawi. Uta Hita means serpent or eye. Samatawi means union or two lands, the lower and upper Egypt. Together it means the science of breath or breath of life. Activities the indwelling serpent, Kundalini, are set, set, or the eye, the penile gland, star, the sleeping soul, unifies the lower and the higher self, producing one self, Heru, the awakened soul. Christ, in fact, the ancient title of African yoga is Ta- Tamari Tamatawi Tawi. It is found on temple walls in the area known mostly as Egypt and within the ancient papyrus scrolls drawn by the people of the Nile Valley. Thousands of years ago, the African symbol of Sama is the depiction of the lung and esophagus. The instrument of the body is essential for receiving the processing, the breath, too, for the healthy body and mind. Sami means union. In the picture above, it denotes the union or cooperation of two principles, Heru, set symbolizing as the upper and lower selves, natures of mind. State. Also, the symbol of summer reflects the spine and uh, pelvis, two important aspects. Two, in, uh, where am I? two important aspects of generating what is called sakam, umbilini, kundalini, energy through the nervous system and the eye chakra system, our heart has, and the human body, a root of internal power favored by ancient and modern yogi practitioners the world over. Note the word Shekham, which means power, is the same word used among the Algonquin chiefs in North America called Shekham, meaning also power. as a Sama symbol. Long. African Yogi is an expression of cosmic force. African is a spiritual vehicle by which it came to exist. It was introduced to and preserved by mystic uh, artisans and shamans of ancient Africa. 
it has been reverted in its modern form by urban yogic spiritual warriors, priests, priestesses, and is being carried around the globe by a new generation of healers and creative facilitators. What is clearly evident is the elementary accent in motion throughout the system, earth, air, water, and fire are brought to life within and throughout the body. The African concept of honoring the female in comparison, in comparison, grace, soft yet subtle energy, take credence in the art of African yoga. The sound of the drum plays an important part in African society and is integral to rituals using movement and dance. Utachata Samatari has nine main disciplines. Since science of the breath, pranic breathing technique. Six, three, six, three, seven, seventeen, and one. And empty retention, and etc. Two, proper exercise through the practice of the system of the dietas postures, commonly called the asanas, as of Anu movements, Raghu's African dance, African martial arts called Montu, the Mari art, and Hudu, African Qigong, Tai Chi, Chong, Dem, Demak, Bagu, Zahang, and Fulongong, etc., aims to unite the body, mind, and spirit for health and well being. This discipline is considered a powerful tool to relieve stress and modern day life, which in turn can help promote total physical and spiritual well being. Cool, cool. Three, nutrition. Ikram members are to adhere to libertary dietary laws that correspond to the obligations determined by the stage of spiritual development by they have been initiated into. These diets are omnivorous, piss. Oh, Piscorious fish, vegetarian eggs, cheese, vegan vegetables, fruit, fruitarian fruits, liquidian water, vegetable juice, fruits, juice, breed, vegetarian, less food, more tula, rejuvenation. Restraint, discipline, lust, greed, jealousy, envy. Hatred and etc. Okay. Am I rich? Okay. Recycling the, the grooming principles, recognizing the influence of matter on the mental and emotional principles of humanity as a potential. Retardance to the movement of spiritual energy all members are required to. One, wash their whole body before attending service. Two, wash before meditation and prayer. Three, sanitize their living area daily. Four, groom public hair at least twice a month. Five, use natural hygiene products without any animal byproducts, non-GMOs. Six, use incense such as sandalwood, sage, frankincense, myrrh, pakulu, and etc. to purify members 
and dissipate and dissipate negative energy in space of services or persecution day. These items must be blessed or bliss. Personal items for ECRA members. The following items are essential for the practice of ECRA should be in the possession and control of ECRA members. One, the protocol of ECRA Indigenous Cosmic Golden Ray Order of Melchizedek. By Dr. Azu Melchizedek, mandatory. Two, breaking generational curses under the order of Melchizedek for remedy to generational and genetic amortities. The order of Melchizedek Chronicles, Volume 4, by Dr. Francis Miles, mandatory. Melchizedek and the Mystery of Fire, a treatise of three parts of by Manny P. Hall, mandatory. The Ancient Mysteries of Melchizedek by Melchizedek Y. Lewis, mandatory. That was four. Five, The Secret Doctrine of the Order of Melchizedek in the Bible by D. C. F. Grumbine. Optional. Six, the Golden Book of Melchizedek, how to become an integrated Christ class Buddha in, the, in this lifetime, volume one, by Joshua Stone. Optional. Seven, the Order of Melchizedek, rediscovering the eternal royal priesthood of Jesus Christ and how it impacts. Yes. Just the stone, the oil of Melchizedek, and how it impacts the church and marketplace in order of Melchizedek Chronicles, Volume Two, by Dr. Francis Miles. Optional. Melchizedek tradition: a critical examination of the sources of the fifth century A.D. And, uh, okay. Esplite of the Hebrews by Fred L. Horton Jr. Optional. Okay. Illusion Matter. Mother of Hero. Oh, sorry. I'm bad. Yeah, that's the beginning of me. Oh, wait a all right, let me start from the heading. Initiation requirements include an indigenous cosmic golden ray order of Melchizedek. One, one must be willing to relinquish the grip of the ego over one's behavior, deed, and actions, and rightful desires. The emergent union of the lands of Kapi and Samatawi Yoga religion of the lower self, four devils or the four lower chakras, carnal self, the body of desire. Note, however, the desire body can be utilized to create unification with the higher self, the tantric kriya yoga. In the reflections of the higher self, distorted by the murky eaters of the flesh, maya, or thief, of illusion, matter, mother of mut, peru, maat, maat ra forms the asset, Isis, Mer Mary, with the highest self, the upper chakras or the holy trinity forms the asa, who. Orisis, the Osiris, 
to form the one self, the divine union, the God Heru, one soul, the Moad, from Noad, hence conquering one's lower self. Attributes such as lust, greed, jealousy, envy, and etc. That breeds hatred, slander, leewardness, murder, theft, and everything that harms who exhibit the higher self attributes, which is 99 attributes of Allah, Alet, Ora, Oraet, Amen, Amenet, the father, the mother of all verses, virtuous, of all virtues, justice, mercy, love, and right. Two, one must possess higher moral standards and is able to withstand the temptations of the world. One must learn to develop the detachment from reactions and wrong desires. Three, one must be willing to work daily through proper breathing, meditation, prayer, song, chant, rika, haku. Please mantras, mundras, exercises, dance, diet to develop one's spiritual, mental, conscious gifts, sahari. Corinthians 12, chapter. But at the same time, realize that your gifts are not the end of the road of your spiritual development. They are simply the beginning to develop spiritual skills. A person must be accepting to the phenomena and must continually look for spiritual influence in life in the form of con- conscience, and cheese and other unusual phenomena. The Bible says that as we sow, so shall we reap. In the East, this is called the law of karma or the law of cause and effect, one of the several universal law of the Huti, Dahuti, Dahu, Hu. The other are the laws of correspondence, the laws of polarity, the laws of rhythm, the law of vibration, the law of gender, sex, and the law of mentalism. The purpose of karma is not to punish us for some past misdeed as many think but rather to educate us to as well make changes the purpose of karma is to teach us something to help us evolve spiritually we are responsible for the consequences of our actions so we ask ourselves what am I learning from this? In this way, one will increase awareness of spiritual influence to life and notice more and more the activity of spiritual skills. This positive feedback will lead to improvement and enhancement in spiritual skills. Therefore, it is necessary to get the side of creativity rather than skepticism. One must learn how to focus on one's earthly mission and spiritual purpose in life, in one's intention, in every situation. The question is to be asked, what is my soul unique mission? And or what do I have to give the world? <laughs> Forgive. I have to leave. This is Joshua. Peace, brothers. Okay. Okay, guys. Okay. I can read this last page and then somebody else. Yeah. Okay, one Mm -hmm. must learn how to focus on one's earthly mission and spiritual purpose in life and one's intention in every situation. The question should be asked, what is my soul's unique mission and what do I have 
to give the word. Initiation into the indigenous cosmic golden ray order of my president is only by way of being a united Wasika Bidamanya Muranatna, the outer circle, or one has joined the Healing Wings Institute and have graduated. To join Ikram, one must make an additional contribution of 1400 and provide a $15 monthly due. Fill out the form below. Ikram is a group initiation, meaning two or more high priestess or priest must be in attendance for further information. Contact your high priest, the new Abheru Maku Sut Sakat Enre at that number, 910-364-9099. And we talk about Ikram because of the fact is that it is the inner circle of United Washington. Many do not know that, but it is the spiritual order for United Washington. Um, I don't want that to get mixed up with the Moorish Holy Temple of Science of the World, which technically is the order of Melchizedek. All right. Now, this was something that I found out from the Grand um, Sheik, former Grand Governor, um, from out of Lumberton, North Carolina. They had their Moorish Science Temple of America. And they used to come to the store, to our store in Fayetteville. And me and him was having a conversation one time. And he said, well, you know that the Abdet Chamber Lessons of the Moral Science Temple of America is nothing more than the Order of Melchizedek. And I said to myself, hmm, that's interesting. I never heard that before from anyone, you know, within the Moral Science Temple of America structure. So when he told me that, being a grand sheik and being a – um and and along with the Grand Sheik was the Grand Governor. Um, when the Grand Sheik told me that, I, I thought instantly to myself that that was something that was um, interesting, very interesting, because of all of the people that I know as far as when it comes to um, this type of information and knowledge, they was on it. But they acted as more so Masonic in a sense, as if that wasn't something in which that was readily, shouldn't be readily available to the people. But as for me, I knew it was changing because with the Internet um, coming online, I knew soon that this information would be available to any and everyone who was interested in it. So uh, I thought that was um, interesting um, as well, the way in which that the Internet itself would be the nail in the coffin of those in which that um, would, well, what we are seeing too is that they're trying their best to infiltrate um, the information with a lot of nonsense, especially from the CIA and different alphabet boys, um, the information is out, but Jagger Hoover said something very interesting. He said there would never be another um, black messiah unless we create him. And what he meant by that is that those in which that are always in front of you on TV or social medias or elsewhere, oftentimes are the agents for the CIA or the FBI or what it's called, um, well, you know, if you don't know, the, F the FBI was implemented in the death of Martin Luther King, and this was a proven fact in the court of law, all right? Um, if you ever seen Dick Gregory, Dick Gregory said that the shots 
um, for Malcolm came from up top, not from down bottom from where they said that the shooters were. He said that those shooters in the Malcolm X case was given blanks and that the real um, shooters was the FBI or CIA in which that shot Malcolm from on the top of, um, from the rafts up top. Okay. Yeah, I've seen that video. Yeah, so you you have to see, um, and then when you get into Stokely, um, Steve, excuse me, um, Steve Stokely, he says specifically that in the Malcolm um, Martin Luther King case, that the shots came from behind the bush um, to the right, in which that went up into Martin Luther King's um, neck out of his head. You know, and actually he was still alive when he um, got to the hospital and that it was a doctor in which that uh, was actually an agent who took a pillow and suffocated him and put basically just put him out of his misery. So these are things in which that are not known to the masses, but we know because we had the teachers in which that did this research and study on it. Being a student, you know, Dick Gregory, um, that Steve Coakley was a student of Dick Gregory, and I was a student of them both. I We got this information coming up through the ranks, you know, in which that the average person don't know anything about today. It's just like when you watch One Love, which was the Bob Marley movie, interestingly enough, you find out that Bob Marley um, what what they didn't tell us about Bob Marley is that on the deathbed, um, a CIA agent said that he's the one in which that shot um, Bob Marley up with cancer. Yeah, I heard about that. He went to the hospital room and yeah. and mm-hmm. after like a nurse or a, a doctor or something. Right, right, right. And um, the guy. It's on YouTube. He's on his deathbed, and he confessed that he's the one who murdered Paul Bowley. But they didn't add this into the movie. You you see what I'm saying? So there's a lot of things in which that, um, when we look at these assassinations or deaths or whatever the case is, um, the government is behind it oftentimes. And so, you know, this spiritual order is meant in order to... uh, I guess you would say to buffer their tampering because with people coming into um, United Washington and they want to come into the inner circle, there would be quite a bit of interrogation, um, especially coming from the astrologers, coming from the um, psychics or mediums the tarot card readers, um, in other words, all spiritual practitioners, we would have the tools in order to um, see who's who and the vibes on which that we pick up from the individual. And then it would be just more than just one. And then we all come together as a council in order to see if this is someone in which that would be allowed um, into the inner circle and so forth and so on. So this is the purpose of the inner circle because it's actually going to be the inner circle which that is going to move the activities um, further for United Washington. It will come through that system. Okay, so I just want to make everybody aware of that, um, of the purpose. If you didn't see, a lot of the purpose, def- a lot of the purpose for those that have never read this information before, you got a chance to read it um, or read along with this as we was reading through it. Um, so I think everybody who did get a chance to read, appreciate y'all. Um, so I just want to, in class there, it's um, past 630, and I'm going to say, um, may I tell you, Washington, each to everyone. 
Yeah. Hey, how I tell you what star is not so well in. Hey, I tell you what star is. God, uh, you got time for a short talk tomorrow? Yes. Yes. Okay, I'll give you a call. Okay. Okay. Peace, God. Peace. Peace. How to watch Taish. Let's see what's to each. Hey, Dr. Lee. Still there? Yes. Uh-huh. And, um, I just wanted to ask about the price to travel documents. Yeah, I'll send them out, um, out tomorrow on Chief Jobs. Okay, I appreciate that. Okay. That's your Washington. That's your Washington. Also, Doc, before you go, we and Zephaniah, we're doing the consular classes. Right. I sent you an email because he was, Zephaniah mentioned that he wanted everybody in the consulate to have um, the Washington tags. So he wanted to. Yes. Uh, yeah, I, I saw that. Uh huh. But he wants the IDP, and I'm still looking for um, that section um, because this one section in which that we were utilized is from those from out of Hawaii who had previous um, interaction with Washita. Matter of fact, the guy who is over it, he used to be with the Washita um, under the Empress. Okay, okay. Because. Mm -hmm. uh... I have an IDP and mine is expired in December, so I was about to reach out to you to find out about that as well. Right. Okay. Okay, God. All right, God. Wash your eyes. Hey, I tell you, wash your eyes.